What has happened over the last years, uh, the major uh, direction of uh, Asian capital, especially right now what we'll be talking, Korean capital, was London. And of course, UK, London, yes? Since, of course, you know, uh, the circumstances and the, and the, the, the facts about uh, the, the UK politics, now this, uh, this demand for us it has moved from uh, London, UK, to Europe. And the major, actually, direction is Paris. Uh, from this capital. So, just looking a bit at, at the numbers, uh, if, if, you, if you may, um, last two years, so 2017-2018, the, uh, the investment volume, uh, which actually has been uh, created by the Koreans on the Paris market, was around 700 million euro. Only 700 million euro for two years. And this year, year to date, in Paris, it is 3 billion. Euros, yes. So you can see what is it? What is what is it? An amazing, actually, uh, story for the market, yes. And of course, you know, uh, we as Central Europe are benefiting, are benefiting from that as well. So uh, why can compare this? You know, this last two years in Paris is actually happening already in Prague because in Prague, uh, Koreans are taking around 600 million euro of assets. I'm talking office, industrial, uh, retail, but mostly office and, and industrial, because this is the, the, the major direction for Asian and Korean capital. So office, industrial, long leases, and strong tenants. Yes, this is what they are looking for. And they can find it, of course, in, in Paris, and they can find it in Central Europe. So they are very active in, in our region. Right now, I think they'll take the first, or the, you know, they, they'll take the first spot in terms of the countries which are investing in uh, Central Europe. Especially, I'm 100% sure it will be the first, uh, the biggest investor on the office market in Poland and in Czech Republic. So this is this is really an incredible story for us uh, because you know usually we we have been trading a lot with Germans, yes, and Western European capital, which is you know originating from UK or, or, or US. But right now this shift is is showing um, that you know these countries like especially Poland and Czech Republic, of course we are talking about. You know the most major uh, countries are so attractive for uh, uh, for Koreans. There is, of course, you know this important aspect of the hedge uh, of the currency, which is you know very positive for the euro versus the local currency, which is one. So they have a premium when they are investing their money in the European uh, uh, related countries or European uh, currency. Um, uh, so so this is very important for them.